Hi, welcome to this database lessons video series. In this video, we will do a, a small exercise of how to connect to the database which we just installed in our desktop. The prerequisite for this video is a uh, couple of uh, in this video series you know if you go back uh, there are a couple of videos about how to install oracle 11g in video i mean oracle 11g in your pc windows 7 pc uh, those would be the prerequisites if you haven't done that that's fine you can still watch this and understand the concept okay so uh, so we install the oracle database so if you want to see what Oracle services are running, open uh, your uh, uh, Windows 7 services panel, right? Control panel, administrative tools, and services. Okay. You know what? Let me show that also, just in case. Okay. Control panel, administrative tools, and services. So here, if you look for Oracle, so you have a lot of services with regard to Oracle running. So the services that uh, we are interested at this point is this one, Oracle service and demo DB. Why it is Oracle service demo DB? The database that we installed, the instance that we installed is uh, DemoDB uh, and that's running as well as uh, the other services that we would be interested in is this TNS listener service. I'll explain that later. Okay, so right now this service database has started and it's in automatic mode. Um, those who uh, knows who those who know windows they know what is automatic mode basically like now when you start the machine this service automatically starts if it is in automatic mode so right now it started so i'm going to explain how to connect to that so to connect to that uh, just go type cmd in your uh, windows run field okay so I know the database name is demo DB so I need to set an environment uh, environment variable to tell that this is the database I'm going to connect to okay so there are two variables one is oracle underscore seed and the other one is oracle underscore home. I'll explain that now. Okay, so I'm going to set oracle underscore seed equal to demo db. Okay, so this is nothing but an operating system environment. Like now you're saying for a variable oracle underscore seed we are setting this value demo db as this variable why we are doing it because oracle uses it oracle whenever it does its own process for our whenever we interact it looks for what is the oracle set okay so i want to verify if that one has been set properly okay demo db okay so this is a windows command whenever you set something <coughs> to some value and then if you want to make sure that something is right is correctly pointing to the value that we set you do this you uh, replace i mean uh, e. this is the string that we used right you put a percentage sign before and, and a percentage sign after that so we are basically we want to see the value of this string okay so when I say echo percentage sign oracle said percentage sign then 
the operating system knows that it has to give me the value right so windows echo is a command we can we can just say like now uh, anything we can uh, you know echo uh, in the sense that anything we can make windows to uh, 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 repeat it's kind of like this you know echo uh, let's say uh, oracle so it's going to say just oracle or uh, echo apple it's going to say apple okay so but then again when i set a value for that for example i set apple equal to mac just just a value for the string apple right and then i do echo apple it's still going to echo only apple but then if i echo percentage apple percentage then windows knows that it has to bring back the value that is assigned for the string apple so the value is mac so that's how windows work okay so basically we need to set a value for this oracle underscore set and that should point to the the database or the instance that we use okay uh, because uh, why we need to do that because or when whenever we interact with oracle oracle will uh, look for these uh, values for these uh, strings okay so again let me verify echo oracle said is demo db okay so now the next parameter okay i need to s set the oracle home okay oracle home is the location where i have installed oracle okay i have installed oracle in this location if you see the the installation video you would know that okay i basically install oracle on c colon app slash sam slash product slash 1120 db home so by doing this what i'm saying to the 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 system is oracle installation files are located here and whenever uh, anything needs to be executed it will use the files that are located in this folder okay so there are two important parameters oracle set which i set it to the instance or the database and uh, the second one is oracle home which i set to the folder where oracle has been installed okay and i also verified it So I'm verifying it. I'm verifying it. Okay. So now to connect, SQL plus slash no log. Okay. So why no log? Uh, because uh, okay. So uh, why no log? I'll explain that uh, now. right now you know i've logged in into this machine as an administrator right and as an administrator i don't need to give a password or username to connect okay and uh, i run sql plus with no log right basically i am telling sql plus don't ask username and password at this moment okay so now i'm going to connect as whatever user i want but then again uh, let's say uh, you know i want to connect as the the most powerful user uh, within the oracle database okay so i'm going to connect slash as sysdba sysdba is the the powerful user in oracle okay so what's happening is 
I am issuing a connect statement and then slash. So slash means it will use the uh, the OS credentials. Like now I logged in as an administrator to this machine, right? So I don't need to specify any username or anything. Uh, and then uh, I'm saying that you know I want to connect as sysdba. So meaning that. Uh, you know, I have sysdba privilege and then I want to connect a sysdba. So these things I'm going to explain in, in subsequent videos. But then this is the uh, connection method. Once you install Oracle database, set your Oracle seed. First, open the command prompt, set your Oracle seed, set your Oracle home, connect, I mean, SQL plus slash no log, connect a sysdba and you are connected. Just to verify if you are on the right if you are connected to the right instance or right database you need to verify it whenever you make any connection you need to verify it first okay to verify it there is a view called b dollar instance this is where you verify and when you put desc which is describe space v dollar instance it will explain it will give what are the columns that are there in this view okay so v dollar instance okay we see i'm gonna i'm gonna use instance name okay we can see like in which instance name it's running and which host name it's running and uh, what is its status uh, i mean what is its status those information you can find out okay so select instance name okay so these column names are generally not case sensitive okay select instance name status from v dollar instance so the instance name is demo db it's open that means now it's available for use so this is how you connect okay and verify okay so, thank you.